ತೌ ಸಂತೋಷಯತ ಸಂತೌ ಶ್ರೀಲೂಪ ಸನಾತನ ದಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾತ್ಯನ ಭಟ್ಟೇನ ಪುನರೇತ್ವಿವಿಚ್ಛತ್ ತಸ್ಯಾದ್ಯ ಗ್ರಂಥನ ಲೇಖ ಕ್ರಾಂತ ವಿಕ್ರಾಂತ ಖಂಡಿತ ಪರ್ಯಾಲೋಚ್ಯಾತ ಪರ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃತ್ವಾಲಿಖತಿ ಜೀವಕ ಹೋ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಚ್ಛಾ ಪ್ರತಿದಿ ಚಪ್ಪಲ್ಸಿದೆ ಕಾಲ್ ಟು ಮಾಧವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಓಕೆ so what we were discussing in 789 yes uh uh unko nahi so ಭಕ್ತ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅನಾದರೇಣ ಆಹ ರಿಜೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಭಕ್ತಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ರಿಜೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ನಾನ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ರೇರ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ uh they are also always desiring this human form of birth and after getting that if someone is not doing not doing devotion not worshiping the lord means they are completely bewildered actually so because human life is is a best suitable life birth for knowing the absolute truth that means knowing the till bhagavat tattvam and also knowing dharma bhagavat dharma bhagavat dharma also we can know so that side is very is very special actually human life and after getting that someone is not utilizing that's the waste of the life
I am sending the file one minute. Now today we are going to discuss 110th Anuschada. Ateva, you see the file. Got? A WhatsApp I said. Atayeva tat tat marg tat tat marg siddhana muni namapi anadaraha Thus, even sages who attain perfection through those different parts are disregarded. They are also disregarded. Thus, even sages who attain perfection through those different parts are disregarded. Ahnapruta karana nishi. Ahnapruta ahnapruta. Ahnya prutarta karana nishi nishayana nana manoratha diakshana bhagna nitra daivahatartha rachana monayopi deva yushmat prasanga vimukha iha samsaranti. Why we are seeing this loka? We are seeing this loka to establish even sages who are expert in their path, those also. So, get the samsara if they are not doing bhakti. That's why, atayeva tattat marga siddhana munina mapi anadaraha. If they are not doing bhakti, but they are expert yogis in the particular system, they are also useless. Anadaraha. Anadaraha. Huh? Disrespect, yes. Disregarded. They are also disregarded. Of course, they are expert in their field. So that's why it is said. Translation is, O oh Lord. People having disturbed senses engage them during the day and sleeping at night. People in general, what? They are completely disturbed actually. They have disturbed senses. And daytime, they are engaged in the various activities for earning livelihood. They are engaged in the various activities. And night time, they are sleeping. And but their sleep is also not continuous sleep like us. If we sleep now, <laughs> if nobody is going to disturb, <laughs> tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock, we can easily sleep. <laughs> At least. But materialistic people, they are fully disturbed, you know. Their senses, whole day, they are making so many plans to gain the money. 
and night time also they don't get good sound sleep why because they are traveling in a chariot of mind that means they are fully occupied with the various desires and because of these desires they will be getting the so many dreams and due to that their sound sleep is disturbed all the time you can remember when you were materialistic at that time we were not properly getting sleep also what will happen this company so we have to after education so we should get the job so we should prepare for this whole day preparing whole night also thinking about that no sleep at all actually but now very nice sleep after coming to krishna consciousness huh <laughs> mike whatever you want to say say in mike yes sir <laughs> now we have no proper sleep my god really what can i do really you people are so str- struggling like anything <laughs> again exam and no sleep <laughs> yeah so non devotees they are so that's why nana mano ratha dhiya kshana bhagna nidra every moment each moment their sleep is destroyed that's why they will go for the sleeping sleep support that means for the tablets sleep support tablets they take that and then they will get habituated and they will never get without the tablets any sleep fortunately devotees have very sound sleep actually in the devotees community we don't see that someone is suffering without sleep in general 99% but outside world if you go everyone is having this problem there is no sound sleep it is a big problem actually for them hours and many weeks and weeks months and months not having the proper sleep and fully because of this completely disturbed actually they are quick anger and actually even as some materialistic life good materialistic life is only possible in the case of devotees happy peaceful life is only possible to devotees nicely eating nicely sleeping at least basic things we are enjoying actually human life is also enjoyed by devotees only in in one way so in general people are like this yushmat prasanga vimukhas chet so general people like this but that is a normal people's case but even munayaha api munayaha means sages that means they are expert in their field they are perfect in their field munayaha means some experts like scientists like the expert you can say thinkers whatever those people also once again they get repeated birth and death for general people it is obvious getting the repeated birth and death but even the these experts also they get repeated repeated birth and death when what is the condition 
युष्मत प्रसंग विमुखाश्चे इफ दे आर हैविंग एवर्स इफ दे आर एवर्स टू यू देन दे गेट द रिपीटेड बर्थ एंड डेथ This is the basic meaning of this sloka. Ahni vyaprata ityadi yishmat bhajana vimukaha samsarina bhavanti. What this sloka is saying that is explained in the down. Yishmat bhajana vimukaha. If someone is not worshipping you, ever to worshipping you. Definitely, they will be having the samsara. Atava monayha api tad vimukas chet tarhi samsaran tiyeva. Even they are sages, they will also get the repeated birth and death if they are not worshiping the Lord. कथम भूता सत संसर वाट कैंड ऑफ सेजेस ट्रांसमेट वाट कैंड ऑफ सेजेस गेट द रिपीट इन बर्थ एंड डेथ दट मीन हू से आर डिस्टर्ब एक्सापल इज गिवेन हियर आरोह्य कुेण परम पदम रविंदाक्ष विमुक्त अविशुद्ध आरुह्य कृच्रेण परम पदम तथा पतंत्युष्मद्रय अधोनाद्रुतयुष्मद्रय इन देंथ कैंट इट इज सेट Devatas are glorifying. I think what they are saying. Even a great, great sages, Aruhya Kruchrena Param Padam. First of all, it is sloka meaning. You will see, oh lotus-eyed Lord, although non-devotees having impure intelligence because of not having the devotion to you, think that they are liberated and become Jivan Muktas. After severe austerities and penances, they fall down from their position of imagined superiority because they have no regard for the lotus feet of you and your devotees. What is said here? Ye anye Aravinda Aksha Vimukta Mani na ha? O Aravinda Aksha. Vimukta mani na means non devotees and also asad bhava, twai asad bhavas, having the impure intelligence because of not having the devotion to you. Since they don't have any devotion to the Lord, that's why their intelligence also is impure. Think that they are all liberated. Think that they think that. They are liberated. But finally, they are not ultimately liberated. They became jivan muktas because they endure for that. They do severe austerities and penances so that they became jivan muktas also. But they didn't get the vidya mukti. But they became jivan muktas. <coughs> and those people also since they don't have proper regard for the lord's lotus feet and devotee's lotus feet so even after reaching to the jivan mukta stage they are falling down that means they became such an expert but they are falling down if they don't worship the supreme lord any expert in any field will definitely will get the samsara once again if they don't worship supreme lord so that's why material expertise will not make anyone to come out from the this samsara will not useful that is a point actually 
that means bhakti is established here by rejecting the expertise in such and such a fields that is the point many people they say what is the use of bhakti they you should become this doctor engineer this that that is a greatness ha kya baba ban gaye ja ke became baba and begging and it taking the people's money eating eating others money freely he got habit of eating others money freely and that's why he wants to be beggar good beg that they think they offend actually like this materialistic people see you should become a doctor or you should become a actor you should become a engineer you should become scientist that is success actually like that they say but what here bhagavat is saying what is use of that kind of success expert or any gain no use because you have to get repeated birth and death you have to go through again and again again and again birth and death they are not seeing this truth they are not seeing the after death what is going to happen they are only seeing the temporary results then then 60 So this Rukmi J says to Krishna actually, yeah. "You are the emb- embodiment of all human goals, and are yourself the final aim of life. Desiring to attain you, O, o all-powerful Lord, intelligent persons abandon everything else. It is they who are worthy of your association, not men and women absorbed in the pleasure and grief resulting from their material lust." Yeah, Rukmi is saying actually. it is same thing she is also saying intelligent people they leave everything and they take shelter at you because krishna was teasing actually why you married me what what you achieved you could have married sisupal you could have become great queen because actually krishna is not a, a crown prince na actually he is just side character only <laughs> there also so what you achieved actually by marrying me and you are not a queen here in this dwarika and you miss so much actually in your life like that he was teasing actually in that 60th chapter 10th canto and then she was saying intelligent people leave everything and take shelter at your lotus feet that is real intelligence actually here also these devatas are glorifying lord even the great people actually these sadakas they are reaching to the jivan mukta stage gnanis but they are falling from there because because they are disrespecting the lotus feet of the lord because they are disrespecting the devotees they will fall down that's why i said even so any brahmavadi wants to get the final success he has to he has to stop himself committing the any offense towards the lord and lord's devotees he should not say that lord is out of maya if that kind of conception is having in his heart like advaitins they used usually they have this they never get any jivan mukta stage or otherwise even videha mukta mukti that's the point tatraha ah uh, atah uktam sri dharmena yama dharmaraj is saying what he is saying you hear on this matter to his 
dear servants to his dear servants dharmantu sakshat bhagavat pranitam navai vidurshayo napi deva na siddha mukya asura manushya kuto na vidyadhar charanadaya dharmantu sakshat bhagavat pranitam and dharma is given by whom by the supreme lord himself navai vidu rushayo napi deva i don't have any problem i have no problem no problem if you have problem then you i am jivan mukta i am jivan mukta actually yeah ramcharan prabhu we are getting the background music actually from our rajwasis house so they are trying to stop to close the doors i am saying no need to close doors because we all jivan muktas we are liberated from all the obstacles <laughs> and they keep actually some speakers they keep uh, purposefully music actually that give the inspiration actually to speaker to speak more deeply uh, yeah 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 but that is not our system actually our system is vyasa paddhati actually there is no singing thinking he is here there's a narada system is different narada system means like in the villages harikathas harikathis the people they do harikatha how they do they will be taking one tanpura tanpura on the shoulder and they are playing this and dan- and they will take in another hand this kartal karnat kartal what do we say that chakalo chakalo iskuntaru so they take some sound it will come hari lo ranga hari karke so they are playing this and this instruments they usually play instruments and they keep on singing the puranic stories whatever the krishnas like rukmini kalyanam and like the satyabhama that's narakasurvada many many episodes of this krishna leelas so putana leela so this is this they will make a, in a local language they will make a nice uh, poems actually on this with in keeping intactly the philosophy yeah so they will be singing and and dancing also a little bit and giving inspiration to the audience this is the narada paddhati actually narada always take his tanpura and keep on singing the glories of the lord this is not the our system or the vyasasan vyasa paddhati that means we will be speaking directly deeply into the shastra so this but in the villages generally that is successful actually they it's difficult to understand the sandarbhas and these things but the sandarbha philosophy we made into a nice poem and a easy understandable language then people will easily take this then it will be spread it. that work is pending actually making the ujjwala you should make some poems on the because ujjwala prabhu is a poet he wrote so many poems on vrindavan rajadham on radharani festival so many many so he is a natural by birth poet yeah so he is going to write on sandarbhas poem <laughs> and sandarbha philosophy <laughs> all the best okay okay aram charan prabhu yeah. uji just just a quick question like uh, for uh-huh. my clarification when we say jeevan mukta and vidhya mukti isn't it this is the same thing or is it like what is the difference between them acha morning class so everything is going that only <laughs> in morning class we were doing that jeevan mukta <laughs> anyway jivan mukta stage means ah uh, when we get the final vritti vritti means it is a state of mind is a function of mind you can say it is a vritti is a state of mind or a function of mind where difference is not grasped that means whose mental state reached to the such a position 
हूज माइंड रीच टू सच ए पोजिशन इट विल नेवर सी एनी डिफरेंस भेद निरसनम डिस्टिंगशन इज नॉट मेड बिटवीन एनी थिंग दे विल नॉट सी एनी डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन दिस मार्कर एंड सेल फोन ऑल्सो एंड ऑल्सो गोल्ड एंड ऑल्सो स्टोन एंड ऑल्सो स्टूल नो डिफरेंस nothing and that kind of mental state is achieved through the sattva guna when one incre- in in when one sattva guna increases in increased sattva guna stage due to that <coughs> that nirvikalpa bedaha that means they don't see the any distinction between the objects that that uh, state of the mind is known as vaisharadi vidya situated that means one's consciousness is situated in vaisharadi vidya that is otherwise mental state that is a vritti of the vritti this is the heart if you take in that one vritti is formed this is a vritti that means when difference is not seen like you see in the bhagavad gita also krishna says what he says sthita pragnasya kabasha arjuna asked then dukkeshvanu dignamana sukeshu vigata spruha vetaraga bhaya krodha sthita dirmuni ruchyate vig dukkeshvanu dignamana sukeshu vigata spruha there is no so depression in sorrow and there is no excitement in happiness that means mental state is reaching to the such a state no differences sama satro cha mitre cha sama labho labho alabho in every condition they are one that is possible by what by the increased sattva guna and for this is the mental state and for this then what is the object any mental state or any vritti for every vritti there is a one object so by this kind of state what you can perceive what you can experience or realize you can realize brahman you can realize brahman or other is self self for brahman you can take as one atma ram also you can say otherwise brahman little difference is there atma ram and brahman that is anyway you can take now it as a one no problem okay they are alive they are eating going roaming but they don't see any difference and they got their mental state this 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 is what due to the increased sattva guna that's why it is say vaisharadi vidya vaisharadi vidya we say this this state and this person is known as jivan mukta still he is in the body but he reached to this and videha mukti means what he left this body and he merged into brahman then that is videha mukti at that time this vaisharadi vidya is also is left over is left over actually and soul is seen that means brahman is seen as non different from his own soul so that's why there is a oneness at that time at the final day, final state in the videha mukti this vaisharadi vidya is also left over then he is merging into the brahman that is nothing but okay this is the difference between the videha mukti and jivan mukti but what he said here anyone who reach to this state jivan mukta state those people that means they didn't leave the body now still in the body but they are in the in that kind of mental state mental condition their mental condition reached to that level so those people if they 
do any offense or disrespect towards the lord and devotees lotus feet they will fur immediately they will fall down from this they will definitely fall down from aruhya krutrena parampadam reaching this kind of position is not a easy thing after doing these several austerities and penances they will be reaching to that kind of position it's so difficult actually kleshodika tarastesham it's a very very difficult process in this whole universe reaching to this kind of jivan mukta that means not seeing any difference between anything it's not easy thing and even that kind of expert if he disrespect if he goes away from the if he has aversion towards the lord out that's the point he said these devatas are saying aruhya krutrena means with great difficulty param padam that means jivan mukta stage patanti adaha they are falling down anadruta angreha anadruta ishmad angreha since they disrespected his lotus feet okay anushad prabhu yeah so prabhu so this stage jivan mukta is is basically is a is a is a stage after gyana or like is even bhaktas or can also be in this stage as no, no. devotees are always in this stage right no no not for devotees this is not for devotees this is only for gnanis na gnana marga okay yeah okay yeah ధర్మంతు సాక్షాత్ భగవత్ ప్రణీతం ధర్మరాజ్ వాట్ హీస్ సేయింగ్ ఇన్ ద సిక్స్త్ అండ్ థర్డ్ చాప్టర్ ధర్మంతు సాక్షాత్ భగవత్ ప్రణీతం హీస్ సేయింగ్ టు హిస్ సర్వెంట్స్ సో గ్రేట్ సేజెస్ ద దేవతాస్ ద చీఫ్ సిద్ధాస్ ద డీమన్స్ అండ్ హ్యూమన్స్ వాట్ టు స్పీక్ ఆఫ్ విద్యాధరాస్ అండ్ చారణాస్ ఆల్ దీస్ cannot ascertain dharma established by the lord that means if you become expert in the material things or some so called <coughs> material expert that is not that doesn't mean that you know everything you are not the knower of everything people generally think that oh what is greatness in this becoming devotee what they know they know only mala fer na bas mala fer ti rahe hari krishna hari krishna krishna tote ki tarah kya jante what they know but i know maths physics chemistry iit and doctor so best actually they feel by seeing the devotee are you didn't study anything only it is second class and became devotee what do you know why well, you don't know mathematics like that outside people they think but actually just any material qualification is not sufficient to know the bhagavad dharma that the point actually saying yama dharma raj is saying to his his servants murkho actually says fools in their chapter if you see because they were thinking that our master is the best of this whole universe our yamadharma raj is the best master they are really real servants actually and they are thinking that no one is superior to our master and whatever we know that is best and this ajamil what he did my god after the marriage 16 years old he got married and from there to now 80 years total 64 years he was just dwelling with the women and robbery cheating stealing hunting killing murdering so many bad activities he did and this guy has to be punished according to the our yama dharma ras rule he has to be punished so like this they have 
very very strong conviction about the dharma whatever our master is said to us our master said to us that is the final dharma with that confidence only they try to bring the ajamil but they don't know what is the value of one holy name one holy name can make many one holy name is sufficient actually they don't know this with one holy name all his sins what he done he has done what he is doing what he will be doing in the actually if you see that commentary in that sixth canto first chapter it is written in the second chapter 11th shloka vishnu chakravartaku writes in the commentary one holy name can destroy the sins what he has done he is doing he will be doing everything is destroyed everything is destroyed so that much power is there when he chanted the holy name at the namakarna time that itself destroyed everything in future what he is going to do that means once again after namakarna samskara also he is also dwelling with his wife once again even that 8 years old man 76 years at that time what is that future sin that is also destroyed actually that is the power of the holy name but these yamabhatas servants of yamaras todasarana vijala ha jyada ho raha hai actually pehle thoda kam sound tha abhi dheere dheere bada diye ek to हाँ ओके ओके फाइन आई बड़ बन उसी को भी बंद करो सो दे आर एक्साइटेड एंड दे ट्राई टू टेक हिम टू हेल बट सिंस हिज सिंस ऑल आर डिस्ट्रॉयड बाय द फर्स्ट होली नेम व्हेन इन द नामकरण संस्कार to that uh, narayana at that time by that ucharana only his sins are destroyed and that's why in the last moment at the time of death he got the opportunity to chant the holy name narayana so that's why you don't think that the ajamil's case narayana he chanted at the time of death it happened automatically no in the next coming anushchhadas we are also going to discuss in only in those people's case it happens that means by the lord's arrangement one can think the remember the at, uh, krishna at the time of death he, who are who already perfected their life who destroyed their sins and who had no offenses those people only can remember actually so that's why many people thinks in in reverse they think anyway i don't do anything but at the time of death i will remember what you will remember your apara your anadas are sitting on the your head and never allow you to do anything is impossible actually so that's why he establishes actually anyway we will go and dis- in detail discussion we will do that but the main point is the ignorance of the yamabatas you should see they are so ignorant actually they don't know the, what is the bhagavad dharma and they don't think that the only the sin they did they should be punished this much they don't know the power of the holy name and that's why yamaras became so angry what foolish people you are doing they went with very angry actually oh, these vishnu dutas they came four beautiful people and they grabbed us this ajamil from our hands and they they stopped us we tried to pull the ajamil from his body but they didn't allow us so who are these actually my dear lord we thought that you are only the one only one one and only one boss but your orders are also now violated is there any another master top than you higher than you like that they ask are murkho then he said murkho foolish foolish servants you don't know what is dharma you don't know the value of one holy name is so powerful holy name you should not touch devotees not only touching devotees 
the path in which direction they see in that direction also you should not go yes. be careful actually huh? this is another master my master is there my master is vishnu and his holy name is so powerful then he is saying dharmantu sakshat bhagavat pranitam murko aapi nahi not only you people many you people they don't know what is really dharma who are those navidu rushayaha great sages they don't know devaha devata sasu they don't know siddhaha siddha mukya that means expert people asuraha manushya vidyadara charanadaya all these people they don't know but who knows then their servants can ask who knows then he is saying swayambhu swayam swayambhur naradashambhu kumar kapilo manu prahlado janako bhishmo balir vaya sakir vayam द्वादशैते विजानीमो धर्मं भागवतं भटाह गुह्यं विशुद्धं दिर्बोधं यं ज्ञात्वामृतं अश्नुते एतावानेव लोकेस्मिन् पुंसां धर्म परस्मृता देन ही सेड दीस पीपल इवन दीस ग्रेट पीपल दे डोंट नो बट वी 12 पीपल नो what is bhagavad dharma who are those 12 swayambhu swayambhu is brahma ji narada shambhu shiva kumaraha our great heroes four heroes but four are counted as one only eh? either kapila manu swayambhu manu prahlad janaka bhishma bhali and sukadev goswami how many brahma narada shambhu kumara kapila manu pralada janaka bhishma bhali vayasaki and myself not yourself <laughs> yamaras <laughs> yeah and yamaras but here four kumaras counted as we 12 only saying why huh eh? anyone got this doubt or not <laughs> total how many it should be then 15 na <laughs> but why 12 only said there <coughs> there four as counted as one <laughs> yeah four counted as one one family <laughs> when they call for any marriage function <laughs> yeah. so one person is any one represent one representative is enough four as treated as one here so these 12 people we 12 only knows we know we <laughs> since there is no wedding me that's <laughs> their bachelor so one is enough actually because if you there is no difference between them actually sometimes you say na someone is very different to you what do you say if we didn't come to the class today but teacher is distributing marks then you'll be say madam teacher you give me my friends marks also to me because he and me are one when there is a strong relation between the two people then they are all identified as one yes or no in that way is four or one is counted as one so these 12 people they know bhagavad dharma what kind of bhagavad dharma guhyam विशुद्धम दुर्बोधम ज्ञात्वा अमृतम अस्नुते व्हाट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ दिस धर्म भागवत धर्म इट इज गुह्यम दैट मींस वेरी सीक्रेट विशुद्धम इज कंप्लीटली प्योर दुर्बोधम डिफिकल्ट टू कॉम्प्रिहेंड दिस इज द भागवत धर्म दैट्स व्हाई 
any material expert material expertise is not sufficient to know this dharma that so is not he is saying what am dharma is saying hey, you people what even devatas do, they don't know this they don't know this dharma you are just uh, my servants in this hell you stay ete dharma pravartakaha that means these 12 people are charge they took the charge charge of this bhagavad dharma so that's why their life and their sayings are the law for the devotional service whatever they say that we should take it as so authentic one their message so they know but what see what is the thing here important thing they know dharma they wrote the many scriptures smritis that means according to their smriti they write the shastra that is known as smriti shastra but in that smritis na upadeshamaha prayena natu swasmrityadishu prayena upadishama ityardah these 12 great mahajanas they wrote like example manu wrote this smriti is known as manusmriti but in that manusmriti 99% he didn't explain this dharma like others also their smriti shastras means their compilations based upon their memory in those compilations they didn't explain this this bhagavad dharma they know but they didn't explain they didn't instruct why why what is the reason huh? they know are they know the conclusion they are authority for the bhagavad dharma but they didn't write in their books they didn't instruct in their books in their smriti shastras the reason is guhyam the reason is this bhagavad dharma is guhyam it should not be given so cheaply to everyone that's why guhyam that means aprakashyam it is very confidential actually confidential subject matter bhagavad dharma but our srila prabhupada is so compassionate actually lo lo he distributed like this to the most fallen people he distributed that's really his mercy actually you know otherwise what what is bhagavad dharma bhakti and what is the qualification of we in such a easy language in books he wrote otherwise where we are actually you are the now the topmost person in this whole brahmanda rangmay prabhu you might be writing exams but you are undermining your position you are the exalted position you are having being a devotee no other living entity can compete with you in this whole universe no one is equal to you really i say jeevan mukta is what they are all nothing in front of devotee yeah devotee means what you are thinking is it simple thing they are controllers of the lord aham bhakta paradina they are saying from whom the millions and millions of universes are coming that person is controlled by these people these devotees and they are so great so that's why this bhakti is so secret that's why these mahajanas they know the bhagavad dharma but still they didn't 
instruct in their scriptures because it is secret guhyam aprakasham not to be revealed and what is that durbodham durbodham means tatha anyaihi tatha grahitum ashakyam by the great vaishnavas mercy you able to know bhakti very easily but you are thinking that bhakti is so nice and easy and i understood you are feeling that's true also that it happened because of vaishnavere krupa ki vaishnav janon ki krupa vaishnav ki because of the mercy of the vaishnavas we are able to understand this bhakti so easily otherwise millions of jeevas they are dwelling in this material world and they are not able to understand this philosophy even after studying this so much vyakarana nyaya mimamsa vedanta upanishads many many and they don't know what is the secret of this bhakti what is this bhakti they don't know they think that this may be that may be this krishna is there and beautiful krishna and loving him is only the bhakti they don't know they think that krishna may be is a controller of the soul something like you see in the mahatma gandhi is writing in his commentary on the bhagavad gita comparing krishna with something something someone compare krishna with something they don't know what is this simple thing because of the mercy of the some great vaishnava you understood very easily but otherwise people are struggling for the life after life life after life and they are not able to understand this and they are giving the krishna is maya vachinna chaitanyam vidya vachinna chaitanyam vidya pratibhimbita chaitanyam what is this actually they are making unnecessary complex definitions and completely bereft from the the original path so that's what he said durbodham it is very difficult to understand the bhagavad dharma that's why they didn't write in their books what is the use of writing this only they explain this manusmriti if you take hey you brahmana you do this hey you kshatriya you do this hey you are vaishya you do this you do this brahmachari grihastha vanaprastha do this that that and eat do this dana this vrata but bhakti no aram charan to krishna bro uh, uh, of this 12 mahajans like uh, i and i see that like uh, uh, all of them like at some point of time instruct this bhagavad dharma or this to someone uh, like uh, other than that but one thing i always get confused is like uh, when we uh, say bali maharaj is the mahajan there so he has like two lives like first before like he was the king of demons and then he got killed and then later <clears throat> so like is it like he was a, he was by birth he was a mahajan or like he got shifted i i always get confused in that probably like yeah, where yeah. exactly like bali maharaj actually everyone have their jati dharma he is a daitya so and he is a community leader and he is a king actually and but indra is so defeated defeated means yeah so <clears throat> at that time bali maharaj anyway so he is a leader actually leader of the his his uh, members his community members and he has to protect that is his rule and there is no point of the any devotional aspect and but if you see the kingdom of the bali so he was ruling very nicely actually he is a great devotee and yeah bali maharaj when they did the samudra mantan so this cheating happened actually to these daityas Vishnu cheated them actually, <laughs> and Mohini 
distributed only amritam to devatas and they were cheated so they got angry that's why and they want to take revenge but after that also easily devatas conquered and they were defeated so bali maharaj took the shelter of the vashishta that means brahmanas actually brugu brugu vamsha brahmanas shelter of the bhargavas bhargav brahmanas and he followed strictly the the instructions given by the brahmanas and he followed uh, he followed the this path of the righteous path actually that means he conducted various sacrifices under the instruction of brahmanas then he regained by he got the blessings of the brahmanas brahma teja he got the brahma teja brahma balam balam and that blessings actually by that when he went to fight on dima and the devatas he was when he was going going that means and from the sacrifice he got the that chariot also that chariot is a golden chariot and it is it is shining like a fire actually and he is sitting on that and he is when he is riding and behind to him all his followers they are also great army and when they are riding and like a big blazing fire is approaching towards the the heaven it was looking like that by seeing the whole scene devatas without fighting they ran away from the different places <laughs> completely ran away actually <laughs> by seeing itself they ran away actually internal cause is is the because they offended the brahmaspati indra offended brahmaspati that is the reason actually he lost everything that is the main problem actually is he didn't follow properly the instructions of the brahmanas but if you see in the whole see episode of the bali maharaj episode so you'll be seeing like this but he's devotee by birth only actually because his his grandfather is 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 great devotee and he was following the prahlad maharaj and but he is a king actually of the daityas then their duty is that protecting them fighting with the as enemies and that is natural actually but he is he didn't do any unrighteous thing actually they were cheated and that's why he, he attacked on them because they lost everything actually demons in that way actually that is a li- livelihood actually jivika that is their lifestyle actually yeah it's not that the bali maharaj did some cruel activities no we didn't see anywhere like that he followed strictly the brahmana section bali maharaj story if you hear and then vishnu came in the form of vamana and asked and his guru is saying hey don't give don't give the charity of these three places of land don't give don't give because you should lie and he says six place where to lie he gives this so clues hey don't lie yaar yeah. you can you should lie you can lie when there is a problem in the so time comes six times six places to save the life one can lie and he was saying lie you lie lie you anyway you tell three faces you will give but don't you know you lie but he didn't out of material ego he didn't that means i am king i already offer that means some uh, something to the some brahmana i should maintain no he says that if vishnu is only coming and asking it's very nice for me he if you see the whole episode there the bali maharaj devotional qualities are uh, very much emphasized there by the the uh, narration section by the sukadev goswami there and uh, it's clearly he it resembles his devotion and it's out of material prestige he didn't stood on his words actually out of devotion only and that is the greatness of the bali maharaj actually he is a great devotee and beginning also we are seeing nothing wrong he did actually okay 
So, <coughs> so this bhakti is so secret. It's not so. Our bhapari, so we'll see you go speedily. Ah. And that's why these Mahajanas, they didn't mention the, they, inst they didn't instruct this bhakti in their Smriti Sastras. That is, this is Guhyam and also it is Durlabham, Durbhodam. And but, who knows the Bhagavad Dharma, then what he will get? Amritam Asnute, Yam Gnatva Amritam Asnute. He will be getting the Amritam. Amritam means the highest result. That means Krishna consciousness. That means here it will be explained in the coming lines. Krishna other Amritam. Amritam means nectar from the lips of the Krishna. This is the Amritam actually. This one who is going to get. This is the highest actually. The highest result. So, even in front of this, Brahmanandam is also nothing. In the Bhakti Rasamra Sindhu, it is said, Brahmanando Bhavedesha Chetparardha Gune Krutha Naiti Bhakti Sukham Bhode Paramanu Tulamapi. If you sit for Samadhi, for how long? 50 years of Brahmaji. 50 years of Brahmaji. One year of Brahmaji, you know how many years of ours. One day is equal to 1000 Chaturyagas. And one year is equal to 365. 1000 Chaturyagas is one year. Like that, 50 years if you sit and you start relishing the Brahmanandam. That means such a constant meditation, constant samadhi you did. And in that whole lengthy, the period of the Samadhi, whatever Brahmanandam you accumulated, that accumulated Brahmanandam, even it is not equal to a, a single drop in the pleasure which is coming from the, the ocean, the pleasure ocean of Bhakti. Bhakti pleasure is compared with the ocean. In that ocean, this Brahmanandam accumulated for the 50 years of Samadhi is not equal to even a one single drop. That is the Bhakti Anandam. That means you are going to get such a great result. Utsahat Nishaya Dhairya. Be patient and Lagiraho. Don't leave this process. Eh? Rose every day do sadhana, every day attend classes, do preaching, do reading, do all the devotional services. Then you will be getting the, this ocean. What is this um, passing in the exam? Nothing. You will be getting such a bliss. Ocean you are going to get now. Bliss of ocean. Nothing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So that's why you see the supremacy of that result is indicated in that sloka Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu sloka, and also it is that supremacy is said in the. Kriditam Bajavraduridam Chavishno Shraddhan Vito Nur Shunu Yad Ata Varna Yedya Bhaktim Param Bhagavati Pratila Bhyakamam Rudroga Maswapu Apahino Apahino Tyachirena Dira Anyone who faithfully and continually hears or describes the Lord's playful affairs 
with the young gopis of vrindavan will attain the highest type of frame of the lord only thing is what faithfully and continually describe the lord's fast times now 5 hours 10 hours 12 hours 15 hours describing the lord's fast times and here also so that's why i go for preaching what you should do hours and hours 10 hours you should preach <laughs> yeah eight <laughs> yes eight to evening five eight eight <laughs> one day yes no problem <laughs> so what will happen this is actually people they say actually sometimes oh hours and hours you are reading books you will become mad <laughs> nobody will become mad by studying the the devotional books it will make you more and more free from this material attachment and madness material madness actually it will you will not get any yeah slowly slowly you will be getting the some taste actually in this so anyone do describe this past tense of the lord they will be getting the highest prema highest type of prema to the lord very quickly and it will destroy the lust and diseases of the heart hrudrogam bhaktim param so that's why by bhakti you will be getting the bhagavad dharma you will be getting the highest result what is that highest result krishna dharamruta aswada siddhi you get the chance to get the chance to taste the the nectar from the lips of the lord and that's why it is said atayev vakshate ಪ್ರಾಯಣ ವೇದ ತದಿದಂ ನ ಮಹಾಜನೋಯಂ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ನ ದಿಸ್ ಭಾಗವತ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ವೆರಿ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಥ್ರೋನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ರೋಡ್ಸ್ ಚೀಪ್ಲಿ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರೇಟ್ but in the kaliyuga our acharyas are so merciful actually they are giving out of mercy to the most fallen souls but actually the truth is what only mahajanas they know this bhagavad dharma prayana veda maha prayana tadidam na mahajanoyam even if you see 63 25th shloka so dharmaraj is saying that even the great personalities also they don't know this great personalities means like jaimini rishi like gautam rishi kapila rishi that means nasti kapila kapila patanjali kanada these are the great sages they also don't know who else don't know great people but they are great people but whoever is that means these 12 people know and other than these 12 people and also other than the the coming people coming in the sampradaya of these 12 people other than these two 12 people and the, their followers other than these two everyone else doesn't know even they are materially so great they compiled such a great thesis gautam rishi's nyay sutra he wrote but what is the use he doesn't know the what is bhagavad dharma and he is not getting any highest result even the material is so experts actually so many people are there thousands and thousands compared to devotees materially they are very very experts and qualified but what is the use they don't know any bhagavad dharma so that's why here today what we learn even materially material qualification they may be someone is expert in the material qualification they are also disregarded and bhakti is only established 
that is the whole story of today they are expert in the some certain material the parts material uh, fields like someone is a scientist and he invented the light current he invented the current and he did something or uh, someone like gautam rishi he invented the sutras uh, also uh, that karma kanda gyan kanda can be ah uh, jaimini so jaimini rishi he so established jaimini sutras describing the how to do the karma kanda very expertly and so many expert things he explained and then what is the use of that they are expert in that even the one who reached the jivan mukta stage in the gnana marga they also if they are not doing bhakti means they are all failures millions of zeros you keep no value if bhakti is added that is having value without bhakti material expertise is useless that is the point today's uh, any questions like dharmaraj is saying that means great people also like uh, devatas they also don't know only these 12 people and our followers who are coming under our sampradaya they only know we know we are coming under the but who says that whoever is saying that i know then he doesn't know anything esy amatam matam esy amatam amatam even we know so we should not say that i know we don't know anything actually hari krishna ha 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 you follow brahma ha hari you say uh, who say it i am know that means they don't know something so that, that means is, you should not have you go that is the point that is also uh, told them as uh, i know because that is a, a different case he, out of ego he is not saying he is giving information he, the point is uh, you go ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच श्री प्रभुपाद की